Hey, so um, if you've watched the other videos, you now know how to make a drum loop and make a music loop. So this is um, where we're up to at the moment. So uh, for this video today, we're going to be going into how to actually do a very, very basic arrangement and um, some basic automation as well. So I have a basic loop here. So I'll play that for you. Okay, so now the question is, how do we actually put that into an arrangement? Now an arrangement is basically just a whole bunch of loops arranged in a timeline. Now this can go for as long as you want it to. Um, this track's kind of like a little hip hoppy thing, and today we're just going to do a very short arrangement for maybe a minute or so, um, just to give you guys a bit of an idea of how it's actually done. Okay, so um, what we want to do first is divide this up a little bit. So we want to have a couple of different versions of the drums, and then we want these other parts playing at different times of the track just to break it up a little bit. Okay, so this one here, I'm going to put this down to there. Then I'm going to make another version of it. So I just, um, if you're on a Mac, you, you grab this, hold down Option, which will give you a plus, and then you can drop that. That'll give you a different version of this. Um, at the moment, it is the same. So what we're going to do is just delete some of the drums out of it. So I might take away some shakers. And then we might take away maybe the claps. So now we have this variation compared with this. All right, then we might even make another version that doesn't have any hats at all. Something like that. Yeah, that might do the trick. So then we got version one. Version two. And version three. Okay. So now that we have these different versions, it's always a good idea to make them different colors so that when we're in the arrangement view, we know that they're actually different. So to do that, you right click and we can just color that one that and that one that. Okay, now we're gonna flip over to the arrangement view. So to do that, you press tab. Okay, we can see along the bottom here, there's a timeline. So you can see zero there, 30 seconds, one minute, etc. Along the top, we have um, the amount of bars. Now one bar, if you're doing a disco track or a house track, will be, um, I think it's, will be, hang on, I'll double check that, one, two, three, four, yeah, so it'll be four beats to each bar, okay, so basically we're going to tab back over, grab the first set of drums there, and stick it on the drums line, which you can see here, basically these tracks are the same as these, but instead of being vertical, they're horizontal, okay? Now we can see that this one goes for one, two, three, four bars. All right, and then we might have the bass coming from the beginning as well, so I'll just put that right at the start, and I'll extend it over. Now very important in this uh, view, guys, we have to press this one, um, this button here, and basically that will play whatever's um, happening in the arrange view. So if I now press play from the beginning. So just the bass and the first set of drums. Now what we're going to do to make this extra simple is we're going to have a change every four bars. So we can see that it doesn't start on zero there. It actually starts at one. So I know this is a little bit confusing, but on bar... Um, five, that will be the end of our four bars, so one, two, three, four. And that's how it makes sense to the listener. If things change every four, eight, which four times two is eight, or 16, 
8 times 2 is 16. I hope that makes sense. If you have any questions about that, just leave it in the comments for me and I can follow it up for you. Okay. So the next thing that can come in is maybe this chord. And we'll have the bass continue and this one continue. All right, the next thing you can come in is the second version of the drums. We'll have that go for another eight bars. Always have the bass continue, and this can also continue. Now, to make this a little more interesting, might have a little break in the drums, so I'm just going to pull that back there, and you'll be able to hear the effects of it if we go from here. So we've got a nice little groove on. You can see that we're already up to 40 seconds. I might do the same thing with that there. And uh, this one, I might bring in this pad sound. For here. I can roll right up until the end. And then we'll have a little break in the drums here. And then we'll go into the, the last set of drums, which is... The most hectic one that has more um, hats and things like that in it. All right, then on that little drop part, we will have the vocal. This can continue. All right, so now I'll play from here and you guys can see exactly what we're getting at here. Oh, that's actually on the wrong line, so it's meant to be there. Okay, where to from here? So now that this is in, maybe I'll bring this back. And we'll also bring in this string sound, and that can be basically the end of the track. Or the last little part, and then we can come to an outro. We'll have a little break in the drums there again. Okay, then the last part of the song can just come back to this. Keep that bass going. Maybe keep that string going. And that'll be it. Okay, so we're up to a minute 40 now. So guys, that is how easy arrangement actually can be. And um, actually, we'll make this a separate video. So the next video will be about automation. That will be basically making the sounds change uh, throughout the track. So it's not just the same thing happening. Okay, from here. Okay, so now we're coming towards the end of the track. Okay, well, thank you for watching this video. I really hope that it's helped you. Um, 
If this is a little beyond where you're up to at the moment, just go back into our beginner producer playlist and check out the previous videos. And if you have any comments, be sure to leave them and I can get back and answer them for you ASAP. Um, if you have any requests for any particular videos, please let me know and be sure to give us a follow on Facebook, Instagram, and you can check out our website, djlab.com.au. Again, thank you for watching.